for the third and final sub-problem solution. I set the uh, main window to a specific height and width, but I totally got rid of all the attributes in the stack panel, so it, it totally queries its uh, children in order to uh, determine the uh, up appearance. So we have a measurement and arrangement phases that are totally determined by the children. And I still have a fixed width and mar uh, height in, uh, in the media element, but we really don't want to do that because we want to be able to expand it to make the video bigger. So I get rid of the height and the width. And initially the uh, media player goes into a black hole, becomes a singularity. And instead of the an absolute, we're going to say a min width and a min height. So min height equals min height equals 480, and uh, min width equals 575. I just got those values by experimenting with it. And then one thing we want to do is get rid of the source altogether because we don't want it to initially play <coughs> a hard coded value. We want it to we want to get the value from the uh, open file dialog. And then get a vertical align. Oops something missing here. Oh, we're missing an ending quote on the, the max width. And now put in a vertical alignment equal to uh, stretch because we want it to stretch uh, when we expand the window. And also uh, horizontal alignment equal to stretch. And we want to keep our margin uh, equal to 20 px so that it's uh, not jammed together with the button. Also I have a margin of 20 px for the, the button. And this is all in alignment with uh, the dynamic flow layout where you don't specify specific sizes and coordinates but just general amount of size and, and stretch with the increase in the window size and a, a dynamic flow philosophy. And the next thing we need to do is go into the event handler for the button and instead of just having a message box here what we want is to uh, set the uh, media element uh, source. You'd think equal to uh, OFD dot file name, but in fact that won't work. And the reason that won't work is that as it says here you can't implicitly convert a string to system.uri so what we need is a uri value so put in here new uh, uri and convert the uh, file name to a uri before we set it equal to the source And I think that's pretty much the only uh, change we need in order to play it a selected file. So if we save this and run it and do a select play file and grab one of my old videos, I don't know what a good one would be. Maybe a num. show you how to create these really nice uh, 
and you can see it's playing the video and if you expand this the video gets bigger and if you shrink it it gets smaller but you notice one thing that happened that was kind of a problem is the button disappears if you do this in the wrong way like if you expand it really this way about in this video so we want to look at some other layouts that actually handle that kind of problem check box, check well I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a lot and, and I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe I'm writing this